Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyward Sword. My name is Avalon and we finally found this city pirate ship um, that we had to make uninvisible. That is not good words, but you know. Um, and we can now progress forward. Now, this is one of the few things that I do remember from last time I played the game. Um, and this is the, the bit that Fee went from just being a frustration to actively reducing how much I enjoyed the gameplay. And the reason is there's a puzzle here that in the original she popped out and gave you the answer for. So I direly, direly hope she doesn't do that anymore. Well, there's some butterflies down here. Is there a song to be played? Nope, there's no song to be played. Okay, there's just random butterflies here then. So we're going to be using the dust bellows, it would seem, and there's nothing else down here? What? Is that what the bonus butterflies would try and tell me? That there's nothing down there? What a weird... weird situation. Okay. So we got this corridor to explore then. Which does have a door I can go through. And some keys! Back, you foul beasts! There we go. So, we'll just keep moving forward, I guess. Um, we're gonna need a time stone at some point, I think. Yeah, because we can't get through there. I don't actually know how to, oh, we've bombs. We know how to kill them with bombs because you have to do it literally to get here. There we go. So, run across. Is there enough time? Just about. Oh, that was close. So doors closed, doors closed. Lots of closed doors here. Um, that door's closed. Just deeper into the ship, I guess, then. wonder how many levels this ship has. I mean, I suppose that first level we were just in the captain's... Oh my gosh. Right, come on then. Let's do this. Get off. Get off. No, I'm just going to keep walking. Walk through it all. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's play the game. Come on. Everyone come and get me. And keep on coming. There we go. Was it worth it, guys? Was it? I've already killed two of your parents. And I'll happily kill the rest of you as well. Master, please look. Oh, that's where the boss key is. So obviously, the boss key, I'll have to be... Wow, Fee. Like, this is what? The fifth dungeon? And you're telling me now that the boss chambers are important rooms in the dungeon. Honestly. There was a large period of time where Fee wasn't actually that annoying. If anything, she was a good part of the game, but now we're here and we've got another one of these stupid lock things from the uh, from the ancient cistern. They obviously like this a lot. Okay, let's just clear out this, see what we've got below us. There, uh, see? There's a, a clue for the lock. Is there anything else in this section? No, just the one clue. Alright, into this one. Got another clue here. Ah, see? This is what I was saying last time, actually, is that they could have made the puzzle more interesting by, instead of having signs and stuff, having points of interest. So that this one... Get off me! This one... Oh, I've accidentally got the hook shot. That, that's not going to work, Link. There we go. Yeah, this one, it's got numbered of coloured uh, prongs on the wheel. So it is um, number one through here, which is down. And then number two is up, number three is down, and number four is to the right. Get off me. So it's down, up. So it's down, up, down, 
and then to the right. Look at that. That is the way you do that puzzle. You know, that, that was what I was looking for in the last one that they just didn't have. And that gets through to this, which is what exactly? Can't be a map, surely not this early, it's a key. I'll be honest, I haven't seen a locked door. <laughs> And if the locked door is through there... Oh, it's not good. I was going to say, if the locked door's there, then this whole piece of thing was a waste. Wasn't that the same in the last one, actually? Where it was just... It, all it had was a key behind the, the combination lock. Kind of... Kind of a bit of repetition there. So, what can I unlock with this key? I don't remember seeing any doors that had a key lock on them at all. I probably did and if you guys are watching you probably saw it and they're shouting at the screens telling me where it is but yeah that's not how YouTube works unfortunately I can't I can't hear you guys. Um, but no I, I really don't remember seeing a locked door. Whoa! So we eventually found it it's right back at the beginning. That took me ages! Oh, and then we... Onto the... Captain's nose of the ship? I don't know why this would only be through the captain's quarters that you went to this. But I guess... We're about to find out. There is the captain! Hello, pirate man. Oh, he's a robot too. How come they built him as a robot so cool? And the other robot so tiny? Oh, gosh. Come then, man. Let's go. Oh, okay. We just slash at him with my sword. That's no problem. I can slash at you all day, buddy. Oh. Don't. You can't block me. That's not how this works. Oh. Okay, so now that moves up. Okay. And we run at each other again. Okay, let's begin this again then, I guess. Ooh, that time he blocked me with his hook and then retaliated. Didn't stop him. I wonder if a guy was trying to work against this guy. <laughs> this is fun though, it's like a, a just a pure one-on-one -on -one battle to the death sort of situation. Oh, now he's only got his core. And we've got that spiky thing right up our bum. Haha. -ha. Oh, I forgot to put my shield up. And I did not shield block effectively. Okay, so there's your opening. I mean, that wasn't so difficult at all, if I'm honest. It was good fun, like the concept was there. But I don't know, he didn't put up much of a fight. I'm hoping he was like the first mate and not the captain. And you have to do this again with another pirate who's, you know, a challenge. Oh, Fee, what? Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks so much for that, Fee. That was the most pointless comment ever made. Ooh, the bow. And it doesn't replace the thing shop. Oh, so we actually have no more items to get then. A report about the bow that we just found. And this, this may shock you guys. It, it, this might be the biggest shock of your life, but you can actually use it to propel arrows through the air? Honestly. Oh, man. You can search, shoot certain devices, such as that one on the deck there. Christ almighty. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff that winds up about fee. Like, it's like, oh, you can now shoot certain devices. That bit was fine. And it's like, like that one that we saw earlier on the deck. Like, why why tell me that, Fee? Either way, I'm not going to do that. I'm going back down here. Because, forget what Fee said. This is a dungeon. I'm doing things my way. And down here, on the bottom floor, 
there was. If I just run across this sandy bit. A broken fan. Here it is. With a device behind the broken fan. Perfect. Look at that for a shot. See? Sometimes paying attention whilst you're lost is not the worst thing in the world. Get some amber in here as well. And a keys! Another keys! <laughs> keys everywhere! Um, so we've got this boulder. It's not a boulder, is it? That's not the right word at all, Avalon. Can I push this? No, I can't push this down, so I can't use that to push the switch. What does this switch actually do? Oh, that opens an eye switch. I guess that I need to shoot from here then. Okay, no problem. Ah. Oh. There you go, got it. And that opens that door. Okay, so... Yeah, we, we worked that out, thanks. <laughs> Silly cutscene. So that opens this next door along, through which there is... Dun, 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 a machine to put my sword in, but obviously I'll need to do that in another time period, I guess. Oh, there's some arrows there. I do. Cool. Well, let's go and hit the one on the deck then, I guess. Cool. So back on top of the deck, let's take aim and fire. What does that one do? That raises the time stone, which we can now shoot with arrows. Oh my gosh. Really? There's a 90% chance. Honestly, fee. You just... Oh, just the stuff she says, man. There we go. I wonder if the ship will like bolt now that we're into the uh, into the future. That'd be cool if it did. Oh, why are you doing that? Ah, so now I can't do the time stone anymore. Or go in that door. Okay. No, it looks sweet. It's because my my centraling's off. The gyro is off again. Can't swing in the right direction if the gyro is off. There we go. So these guys aren't as important, obviously, as the ones in the factories because they don't get electrified weapons. They just get normal ones. Oh no! Don't blow your horn, you pest. What's this? Um, right, okay, well, there was a thing that we could see on top of that ship over there. Um, oh, it's the only thing I can do, so let's go and hit this. I'm assuming it drops the ship down. Yeah, it does. That was a long cutscene for what should be quite... Oh, but I can't do anything from down here. That's kind of annoying. There is, however, another platform there. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go through this long cutscene back up. There we go. Back to the top. Um, oh, I guess I didn't need to come up here at all. I just needed to go straight over there and climb up the ladder to the top of the mast. So I just went an extra extra journey there for no reason. There we go. Right, cool. So we're now... Who blew the horn? Get out of the way! Get out of the way! I didn't want for that. Oh, there's an arrow there. And another one. <laughs> I 
I, this didn't have to happen, you know? So, what's the next play? Do I have to shoot these guys down? Oh, hang on. The switch is on these. Oh, what a shot, if I do say so myself. Cool, so that is how we climb further then, I guess. <laughs> now that we've shot that, oh man, this is a thin walkway. Jump on that, and up we go! Down you go. And down you go. Am I right in what I'm presuming? Yep. I can see all the little shakes in my hand when I'm aiming with that. It's quite... quite interesting to see, I think. Here we go. I'm right at the top of this one. Hey man, how you doing? I'm not very happy with what you have done, if I'm honest. There we go. Because I wanted this pirate ship open. Hey ya! Link, good job, weep! Now the ship looks just like it used to. Oh, he's happy! Bless him. I, I don't know why you put a mark on my map. Yeah, you, you wait where it's safe, buddy. But I'm, I'm really happy that you're happy. Um, I, I wouldn't want to say that you're the worst captain of all time. You know, if you're too scared to defend your own ship. But... You know, you do you. Whoops. That did get the, uh... The Bacoblin's attention, though. Hitting that arrow there. I'm going to shoot him down first because I don't want to... Zip line into his face. Oh, that was quite the fool. There's a hookshot point there. What's that for? There's a few hookshot points over there, actually. Ow. So what? There's another hookshot point there. But more interestingly, we can go down. Where does this take us? I feel like I'm doing a better job aiming with the bow than I am with the, the hookshot. I don't know if there's like a more like allowance for variation and failure. Um, but you know, we'll take that, we'll take a piece of heart, and then... Oh, wait. Right. Oh, yep, it is one. What do I need? I want arrows, I think. Can I draw arrows? Because this is like the hardest part of the game for me, is just the drawing stuff. Right, so if we go... Arrows. Give me arrows. Looks like an arrow, right? Yeah! Sweet! Right, now I just need to leave this section. Well, there you go, that's a, that's a piece of heart. And it's funny, actually, because just last dungeon I was commenting on the fact that since the first dungeon, you know, there hadn't been, like, bonus pieces of hearts to find, but maybe I just didn't find them. You know? Because that was quite off the beaten path. That was just noticing something by being a little bit unnecessarily extra when it came to clearing up the ship. But, yeah, so maybe. Oh, and then that needs a key that I don't have. I like how the, the chains bounce and stuff, but yeah, I don't have a key. But we can now go back in the ship in a different time period. I suppose in the episode where I was talking about episodes taking too long, like the last dungeon was like an hour long or something, I said there was no real place for me to... Um, words. There was no real place for me to cut it in half. I suppose this one... This would have been a good spot to, to cut it, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to zoom through this dungeon anyway. If I remember correctly, this dungeon has some interesting stuff going on as you get further through it anyway. But I don't know why this dungeon sticks in my mind after 
so many of the other ones just not. Had to like. He had such a long, unnecessary. There we go. What? That wasn't fair. Right, I'm trying to remember what we have and haven't been able to visit in the past and the present and the future and stuff. Of course, give me a lot of arrows. Okay, so, right. I'm just going to tell you the solution to this puzzle because this is the room that used to wind me up. So, here, it used to have uh, spikes across it so you couldn't go in, in the um, past. Then you come in and you can't go in in the future, but you can't change the time stone. So, on the Wii version of this game, Fee jumped out and was like, oh, but look, you can see the time stone through this, this grate that would fit an arrow, arrow through it. And it was like, why... Why take a puzzle like that where you need to look around? Like, the, the sunlight is obvious enough. Why would you take that puzzle and then ruin it like that? But obviously they took it out, so I'm actually really happy, you know? I gave this game a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hope based on that one particular interaction. And it's the reason I remember this whole dungeon, is that one particular interaction annoyed me so much um, that I end up just hating this entire entire dungeon just because of it but now that that's fixed this can go back to being one of the best dungeons in Zelda on the basis that the time stone stuff is awesome and I can't aim for the life of me there it is so yeah no I'm super happy now you know because that is the way that you can change the time stone while you're inside the ship as you can obviously tell um, so yeah, it's just, oh, I'm just so happy. Stop it. Stop it with your electrics. There we go. Oh, he nearly went into the van. That would have been brutal for him. Oh, so we had to open this in the past. In order to turn it on in the, in the future. Cool, so that's done something somewhere in the ship. I don't even know where that was, but, you know. Oh, and it's great. Super. So, yeah, that's done something in the ship. Honestly, Fee. It's just stuff like that. Like, why why does she have to pop out and tell me when there's a cutscene that specifically tells me? Did I go through these doors before? I don't remember. I, there was no reason for me to not go through these doors, but I don't remember doing it. It's a simple block pushing puzzle here. Who knows what this is gonna open? Oh, I think I know what this is gonna open actually. Those side galleys with the ship that I've already raised and lowered. How interesting. So is that like another way in and out? Or is that actually for something? Yes, it's another way in and out. So I can get out here. Let go. Let go. Ooh, what's in here? Um, I'm not sure what's down here, but we're going to be down here anyway. Um... Alright, so that's closed. Can't go forward that way. Oh, I'm underneath one of the levels, it would seem. Is this open? Nope, that's not a door that opens. Okay, well that's that then. So we can go back up here and go and look at those uh, lifeboats. Cool, so from the top of this lifeboat we can... Oh, we can get our bombs out apparently. We can shoot the time stone. Put the world into the past. There we go, and then we shoot the lifeboat down. Okay, and then that lets us get into this room down here, but in the past this time. So that lets us go through this thing here, which will let us open this last door. 
And now we can go back to the future, activate this other engine thing, I suppose. Didn't realise there was multiple of them. Ah, keys, stop it. Come on now, keys, this is... Frustrating, to say the least. Right. Um, so, yeah, so... Is there anything down here now? No, I can't go in there in the past. Okay, cool. So we'll go back to the, the future, drop back down the lifeboat, and then we can go and activate that engine. Super. So now we're in the right time zone. We can uh, activate this engine as well, I guess. And I suppose that lifts that one up. That was the one that was blocking me previously. Which is good news. Now that we can get through there. Oh, Fee, please go away. Honestly, Fee sometimes just popping up all the time. So now we can drop down the outside of the ship to get down there. But what about if I just walk down to the basement? What is actually going on in this time zone in the basement? Because we haven't actually been down it yet. This was the corridor of Scorpion, and now it is just the corridor of single... single, uh, what's he called? The Goblin. The old Skyward Stab. I'm gonna call that Maneuver. Um, oh, there's a Beamoss in here now. There we go. Found it easier just to quickly reset the gyros to stab every time. There is a lot of chests in there that I kind of want to get to. Yeah, just because, like, stabbing, it seems to, like, need to be bang on in the middle for you to actually get the stab on. Can you... Please. Right, okay, we're going to just stand back. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm going to hit you with a Skyward Strike. See? I'm not here to f fight fair, my the Goblin friend. Oh, and then that's where all the guys are trapped. Okay, so we have to go around the long way. Cool. Now we know. Let's go back into that other room then and drop down. Sweet. So now we're back down here. Um, still can't go that way, obviously, but we can now go this way because this machine's now on and this creepy robot-looking thing is going up and down. Okay, so we can just make our way through. Super. Sorry about the weird cut there. We just had a another one of those capture card crashes that I've complained about in the past. Oh, and I got squashed because I was moaning about my capture card. Quick, Link, get up. Get up, Link. We're going to get squashed. No, now we have to wait. Cool. So we'll just make my way through these. I'm actually don't push myself against this one. So as soon as it starts going up, we're good to go. What? Why did he try and climb it? I know we're not going to make it through again, are we? Nope. Ugh. Honestly, I feel like this is specifically set up to be the most frustrating timing possible. What are we going to do? We're going to stand here, and then when it starts going, we're going to sprint. Okay, well, we're not. We've messed that up, but we're through. That's the main thing. Ah, there's a wiki point. Haven't seen one of those in a while, actually. Um, whip, 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 whip. Yeah, like, since we got the, um, the hook shot, I haven't seen anything to whip to. What's through this door over here? Because, like, there's obviously something here as well. There we go. What's up this ladder? This is obviously, like, bonus stuff, whatever's up here, because... This is the secret room with all of the chests! How perfect! Cool, so we got a couple of monster horns, an evil crystal, and 200 rupees that are useless to me because my wallet's full. But, you know, still pretty snazzy. So we just got this bit to get through. So, up that goes. Oh, you just run through. No problem at all. Ah, now we're going to combine the whip and this stuff. Can you go on top of these ones? Oh. It looks like you can. It looks like you need to, actually. Do they go all the way to the ceiling? No, they don't. Okay, cool. Climb up that one. I wonder if I simply could have just walked under it and climbed up. Oh, I kind of hope there'd be a way to open that up. Oh, maybe there is. Yeah, there we go. Now we don't have to go around that whole 
malarkey again if we choose to come back the, here for any reason. Go through a long, crawly tunnel. Very long, crawly tunnel. I wouldn't like this in real life. That would be so dark in real life if you think about it. No way light would travel through there whilst you're crawling through it as well. Okay, so here we are opening this door. And then we can be like, hello, little robot dudes. How are we doing? I am a human. Yes, that is correct. Yep, Skipper came. I'm going to get Nari's flame. See, it's all a plan. The control room is next to the brig, but it's a huge door sealed shut. I need a key to get it open. Heard the... In the captain's cabin. That's the only key door that we haven't got? Yeah, that's cool. Yes, we knew we knew where that was. You, you didn't need to didn't need to mark that on the map. Thank you. Right, cool. They're all gone. See you later, guy. Oh, <laughs> I say they're all gone. Look how slowly he's moving. Where's the other ones? Are they not leaving? Ah, oh, they've all gone together, I suppose. But I can't. Oh, so I have to go all the way back round. That is infuriating. Awesome, so here we are back on the deck going into the captain's quarters. I was obviously wrong earlier when I said the other one was the captain's quarters because clearly this is. But yeah, there's a lot of in and outing in this dungeon, lots of like going back to the top and back to the bottom and stuff, but it looks like this all kind of links together now. So, oh, do we need to come here in the past, I guess, then? Okay, well, that was a anticlimactic entrance. All right, take two. Now we're in the past, so we should be able to go through this electricity door over here. Um, some Scorps. Hello Scorps, how are we doing guys? It's also um, a Bokoblin that's going to be alive there, and a Beemos. Do you know what would be cool is if this led to a section um, with another one of those carrying time orbs, because that was a snazzy little thing there. Oh, so the Beemos is in the way. So I'm going to have to switch the time. So can I do that here? Through this fan. Um, get my bearings. There's the central mark. There it is. Oh, what a shot. Oh no. They're working together. Bring it on. Yeah. Ooh, nice. And then I can stand on this thing. To shoot through that gap. Oh man. Guy is off again. Ah There it is. First time. <laughs> oh, another Beemos in here. Hello, my lovely Beemos friend. Oh, you can reach me from. Oh my god, there's Beemos everywhere. Stop, 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 Beemos. Please. Okay. Okay. No, it's just a one and one. Oh, no, but the guy is not right. See, this is what I mean, the, the stabbing. You have to be so, like, perfect with the gyro. Oh, well, that was it. That was that was how we got through to the, to the boss key. Well, I don't want your one rupee. How insulting. What's this one, then? It's the squid carving. Uh, okay. <laughs> Was there... Uh, super, well then I guess we head all the way back round again then to where that, um, the boss room was. Oh wow, that was quick. I was gonna like cut into me trying to work that out, but like I almost immediately did it. But there you go, squid icon in. And uh, boss door open. So this is the other reason this dungeon sticks in my head is is the boss and like I'm not gonna uh, be a new person saying that it's a bit of a disappointing one because this build up's awesome. Like you're like oh no look there's a, a kraken destroying the the ship. Like how cool. 
Um, and yeah, like the ship starts sinking, and it's all like rocking everywhere. And then V tells you how to. Oh, really? The ship's under attack. Whoa! What a huge surprise that is. But yeah, you learn through obviously exiting that you have to use Skyward Strikes to cut the tentacles. So this is the only way you can get through them. Barrels rolling everywhere, the ship just rocking. It's just such a cool build up to a boss fight. And then, yeah, like I said, it starts flooding. Um, and despite having, you know, the water scale, or the water dragon scale, I should say. Um, uh, just avoid that. Cool, made our way up to the top of that one. Whoa! Yeah, so as you can see, like, normal sword strikes don't work. But Fee would tell you that you need to use a Skyward Strike if you, uh... If you hadn't worked it out yourself, sort of thing. Okay, look, the ship's all destroyed, everything's flooded, water's rising... It's just a cool build-up to a boss. And, like, especially following Coloctus, you probably think, What are you doing, Fee? I sense an evil presence on the other side of that door. <sighs> like, what a silly thing. You should have already made the necessary preparations before you went into the first boss room. Like, why have you got to pop out there? But yeah, so then you've got this awesome, like, build-up. You've just had Coloctus. You're thinking, oh, this boss is going to be awesome. And then, out from the ocean, with its massive tentacles, pops... Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Here it comes. This cartoonish monstrosity. Whoever designed this boss after all of that build up needs to be removed. And you'll never guess what its weak point is. You know, it's going to shock you that it's the eyeball. But hey ho. So yeah, you just got to. This guy would size some uh, tentacles away, you know. Before they, uh. do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed. Ah! How oh, handy. Came up right in front of me. Oh, have I done enough now? Yeah. So then up comes this thing. Get the guy right, please. And then you got all this time to t line up your shot. And like, even though I've messed this up awfully, I still have time to get that shot. It's just, it's just not good, is it, really? Like, all of that awesome build-up. You've got this great, like, battle arena. It reminds me of um, the castle battle in uh, DK64, actually, when it's raining on top of the car. Whoa, that was right under me. Yeah, it's, like, raining and stuff. It's all awesome. And then, just this. So disappointing. There was so much potential here as well, and I just missed that completely. And tentacles everywhere! This part of the fight, with the tentacles popping up, is actually pretty decent. There we go, got it. Like, the only reason that I'm struggling with this is because I'm a bad shot with the bow. It's not because it's tough, I'm just a bad shot. <laughs> okay. Down she goes. We've got another stage of... Whoa, tentacle.
Get off me! Tentacle down! There you go, that's enough tentacles down apparently. Guessing it's coming from this side this time. I was wrong! Whoa, whoa, turn name, turn name, turn name. Like, even that attack is so easy to dodge. Oh, not if he does it three times, it's not. Four times? All right, dude, you need to chill out. There you go, look at that, he is chilling out. Oh, he's not chilling out, I was wrong. You just need to hit him while he's doing it. So at least that's a challenge, I suppose. Right, there we go. My lord, my stomach then. I don't know if you guys heard that on my mic, but that was loud. I think it's time for me to take a break and get some food. <laughs> okay, so the arena has been dis destroyed. But it's fine, because we can now climb up to the next part of the arena. But the barrel's moving. Like, they could have made that pirate captain fight the boss of this. It would have been way cooler. And, like, had the Kraken as a... He works for the pirate or something. It's like a side problem. But no, they just went for, for this monstrosity. Sweet. Charge with Skyward Strike ready. How on earth are you supposed to, like... Can these ones you like... Oh, you can slash these ones normally, that's fine. Oh man, there's too many of them. Stop it! All of you need to stop it! And then he gets angry. There we go. But yeah, you don't actually need to slash them down. You can just go straight for the eye if you're fast enough, but I wasn't on that second, second cycle. But there we go. Away with tent ten tentalus? Tentaclus. Whatever it was called. It's done. Again, I feel like there could have been a more gory way to give us the uh the heart container at the end of that. Not necessarily that gore is necessary or even good, but like it just sometimes feels a bit weird that it just appears. What oh, this is glowing now. And rising. Oh, is that the f the flames up here on top of the deck? Is it? That's quite cool. Superb. There is Nehru's flame, the blue flame that will next. Uh, infect our sword making it stronger and longer so I guess the next thing for us to do is to go back to the sky get another song to go to Elden and then do the same over there get the third flame um, and then my sword will be strong enough to fight the demon king well is that right yeah it will kill demise yeah when he climbs out of the because he, he yeah the thing what's he called um Sealed, whatever he's called. I've forgotten what he's called now. You know what I mean. But look, Fee's burning herself again. What's he called? In the bottom of the sea sealed grounds, the version of Ganon, um, version of Demise or Ganon or whoever that climbs to the top, whatever that's called. You know, with the with the powerful sword, we'll be able to beat him big time. Um, there we go. Look at that. Now my sword's even stronger. So it's. Oh, we can now douse for more things, apparently. Interesting. Oh, eight things at once, so I... I okay. <laughs> Never had an issue with that before, anyway. Da -da -da.
It's a cool little, cool little flourish of the sword, isn't it? And there we go. The second piece of the Triforce. Acquired wisdom. Now we just got to go and get Elden's power. Or Din's power, I suppose. Not Elden's power, is it? Fee, what do you want? With my sword enhanced, you can learn a new melody. Yep, that's what we're going to do, my love. We're going to head back to the Isle of Songs. So, with that... Oh, wait, Skipper's got more to say. Thanks for getting the ship back. May have been half wrecked. My crew and I almost got it shaped to almost proper work in no time. Wish good luck and find it. Come visit any time. Okay, cool. So, there you have it. We're back. Oh, we're all the way back here. Awesome. Well, with that, I have been Avalon. This has been Skyward Sword HD. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when I catch the tubbleweed. <laughs>